The distance class five race of the night is the second. It's over 1,800 metres. And we have got uh, at the top of the book, Dazzling Fellow. And it will be Hugh Bowman for David Hall. Ballistic Man is on the class drop. Glorious Lover, only the second time in class five and only his second time at 1,800 metres. Loyal Ambition has placed three from seven course and distance. Success All Stars has won two over the 1,800 metres. Smiling Face ran wide over the 1,650 last time and ran second. And to gear change, uh, Tom for cable speed. The cheek pieces are not required for him this week and we've got Loyal Ambition leading from Barry number one. Yeah, well he led up last time out uh, with the uh, claiming rider on. He's got uh, a similar sort of situation here but this time around he's got uh, Barry number one. So uh, again he was given every chance last uh, time out and couldn't win. Uh, Moonlux off an eight day uh, backup and thought ran well last uh, start. Dazzling Fellow thought he was a little disappointing but he's drawn barrier two here to get a good run. He got a little bit of a, a shuffle up coming off the back straight last uh, time out. There's a few on the three wide line there. Poor cable speed. Hang's Choice Regency Master also on the eight day backup. Yeah, Hang's Choice led last time or led a couple of starts ago and, and, and just dropped right out. So I think they'll probably try and take cover with him rather than press on because it didn't work last time. Glorious Lover, I think, would just be a little bit further back and Smiling Face generally gets back as well. We'll see him shortly, Smiling Face. But we're going to start Tom with Loyal Ambition. He's the leader on the speed map and he's leading for home here. Yeah, and he was given every chance last time out. He was actually fairly well supported in the market. So two for Casper Founds. He came into a, a 4.9 favourite. So Sunny Baby uh, mugged him on the inside there. So, look. He's going to get every chance here again, to Paul, but uh, just looked a little one pace late. You wouldn't want to take a short price about him, would no. you? Um, he's still a maiden from his 18 starts. So, look, I've included him, but not on a win line. OK, that is uh, the first one we look at, which was Loyal Ambition. We move on now, Paul, to Glorious Lover, who's still a maiden. He's up to start 34 now. Pretty much unknown at this trip, however. Smiling Face was big this night. He goes up 150 metres from this too. Yeah, so, look, that should be OK for him. Oh, look, Dazzling Fellow is... In this right class, class five, he's had two starts in the grade now. He's by so you think, he's always looked like a bit of a star. You can see him just sort of grinding away here over the 1650. So I think up to 1800 metres of Hugh Bowman aboard, um, I think he's going to improve. Yeah, he just wasn't making any ground there, I thought, last time. At smiling face off a rating of 24, he's won off it in, uh, in the past. We go back to two starts ago, Tom, for Moonluck. Now, he drew 12, but Jerry Chow slotted him beautifully this night. Loyal Ambition, seventh. Fortune Triple's best run, anything shorter than 2,200 metres this one, but the race was very much run to suit for him. Yeah, and his win has come off 24 in the past. He's rated 26, but that was on a, a yielding a surface, and he did loom up for here, but I liked uh, the run here of Moonluck, and I didn't mind the, the run here either uh, of... Uh, him last time out uh, behind Gogo 16. He was sort of uh, fifth uh, there and had a, a good run on the fence. Had a little issue with that run, Paul, too, with blood on the track here. Yeah, I've included Moonluck. I think he's, he's going to get the right run from uh, from the draw. OK, so that's a good report for Moonluck. We head to Chungfa now, Tom, and uh, you've been a bit taken by the trial of this horse, Ballistic Man, who has his first look at Class 5. Yeah, well, he, he can't do anything but improve. Uh, he can't really go backwards on what he's done so far. Uh, he's down under Class 5 for here. was beaten three and three quarters behind Lean Hero last time. Now, that was back on the, the 28th of December. Four-horse uh, trial. He's next to Dreamcatcher, who's also in on the uh, card and hasn't done a, a great deal uh, either. But the trial was OK, down under Class 5. Five, turn me loose up and trip, maybe make a watery case for him. Yeah, look, I, I did include him for those reasons, up and trip and uh, downgraded from a nice draw, barrier four. He should be a decent price, you'd want a decent price. All right, it's a tricky sort of race, the second, Paul. It is. Look, I'm going to go around the top of the card here, though. I'm going to go with Dazzling Fellow. Just like the fact he's stepping up to 1,800 metres uh, after that 1,650 metre uh, run last time. A Ballistic Man, we just talked about him. Moonluck, we've talked about and Loyal Ambition in there for fourth, uh, one, two, nine and five. Yeah, I'll stick and have a crack here at uh, with uh, Ballistic Man for uh, Jimmy Ting and Luke Ferraris from Barrier Number 4. Uh, trial looked OK. Uh, comes into Class 5 for the first time up in Trip Moonluck. Ran well last start. Loyal Ambition had every chance. And Regency Master uh, couldn't uh, get uh, Go Go 16. He was beaten four links there. And he was held up a little bit last start. 2, 9, 5 and 4. It is Loyal Ambition, the favourite, though, in early markets. He's come up at 2 to 1 for Angus Chung and Casper Founds.